one tree, one end here, boom, on top, lift it up, then make a larger like that. You can measure with the little laser here, the light, where it's more hot or more cold. Hello guys from my street, you Copelli. Boom! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you, always thank you so much for your time, first of all. But today I'm going to show you how to, something very important. I mean, if you have a gas oven at your house, it doesn't matter which brand. This oven, uh, this video was not sponsored from anyone. So pay attention because this is pure how to. Understanding how to manage and work a gas oven and then also some tips also for the home oven so make sure you watch until the end to be able to make the pizza cook in a perfect way all the secret well probably it's not a secret but it's uh, how to properly use a gas oven how to properly bring to temperature the bottom of the pizza because most of you makes mistake on uh, that the pizza doesn't cook or it burns on the bottom well this is the video for you make sure watch and smash the like nice and crunchy let's go see the first step okay so let me tell you this uh, one second if you have uh, this type of oven or if you have this type of oven or uh, come with me or this type of oven this type of oven well this is the right video for you because uh, a lot of people are you have issue how to control the oven so they, most of the time the pizza get burned or most of the time the pizza doesn't get cooked on the bottom well today I'm going to teach you how to properly use a gas burning oven smash the like make sure you go ahead subscribe down there it's totally free and you help me reach the 1 million subscribers let's start with uh, fire up the oven right away because we have a uh, we have everything ready here this is the this is the pizza dough nice and fermented this is ready so i might take another 30 to 40 minutes so uh let's get straight to the point here so the first thing to do here is of course go ahead and uh, open up the the oven and let's fire up the pizza oven uh you you can uh, you can see most of these oven when they come with the gas option they have uh, two speed high and uh, low so we have to when you first start the oven we're gonna go ahead and fire up the oven at the max flame and if you have a, a door of the oven of course go ahead and place it right there like to the uh, right in front don't close it all the way but this is a uh, uh, close it like little, leave a little bit of space to get the get the the oven to breathe and this helps to basically uh, if you have a door it helps to go in temperature much faster and then uh, of course it's gonna make the bottom the, the stone of the of the pizza oven more hot uh, faster so also this one right here so go ahead and fire up the max max speed max flame and we're gonna keep it like that for hold on there we go uh, of course close the door make sure these things here it's open if you have a uni and then let's keep it like that for about 40 uh for about 240 to 40 minutes to one hour to just to get the bottom hot the stone hot because most of you guys make mistake uh makes the mistakes of using the the oven too early so it's, it takes always 45 to one hour i always like to keep it for one hour at the max temperature this of course this uh, uh thermometer here they don't really they're not really uh, let's go back here to, to be honest they're not really uh, useful this is the most uh the most precise thing that you can have so if you want to really want to get a thermometer this is good if you, to get the measure, uh, to get the temperature inside the pizza oven. But to be honest, you don't really need the, that. You don't really need to pay attention to this because this is gonna say already 700. So of course the pizza oven is, it cannot be 700 in 10 minutes because uh, the see, uh, the the goal of a gas oven is to bring the bottom the stone hot enough to cook the pizza. So uh, of course you need a gun. That's it. That's what you need. To be honest, and that's the most useful thing. This way, this way you can really measure the bottom of the stone. 
So right now is about uh, at, uh, uh, of course it's too cold, 400 and uh, I, I fired up last night so that's why. So we keep the door of the oven there just to save, uh, uh, to speed up the things and save also the gas because when you have a door it, you save a lot the gas. In the uni option of course it's different because they, you can keep it closed all the way and breathe on the, on, from the top. But the, this oven, this is a, uh, probably one of the ovens that looks like, a, a, or re, like a, a pizza oven from the business which is this. You can also use this without the door at all but it's gonna take longer to go in temperature on the bottom. I repeat, you need, you need to get the bottom of the oven hot, the stone. So same thing when you're using a pizza oven at your house. You need to breathe, put the stone inside and keep it for one hour there. It at the max speed with the broil on before making the pizza. So let's go ahead and let's wait. I like to wait for one hour and then let's go ahead. I'm gonna make some special pizza for you guys. So let's go ahead and see you in a little bit. Here we go guys, voila, one hour, uh, one hour is passed by and then I want to show you a couple of things and then uh, uh, we can actually make it, we can actually start to make the pizza. Uh, there we go, it's really hot, I kept it just like that for one hour at the max, uh, max flame. So, <laughs> oh, of course, uh, most of you guys don't know what's this thing here. But today, uh, just quick, I'm going to explain to you. This is uh, just a simple thing. If this uh, little thing here breaks, you can put a, a piece of, you can put a, a foil of uh, a little piece of paper here, fire up, and then with this, you go ahead and light up the pizza oven. Hopefully, now you know what's this thing here, because a lot of people don't know what's that. So, uh, let, me, let me show you. So, here you go, like you can see, this is the pizza oven. Hey, it shows that after one hour is uh, at uh, 930. Same thing with this one, it's big, but uh, it's also really hot, this one. But guys, like you can see here, I want to show you, this, this, most of the V oven, they come with two speed and uh, the, the small flame, hot flame, small flame, hot flame. So what I say before, that you need a gun like this one, just to be bench, to make sure that the bottom of the oven is nice and in temperature to be able to make the perfect pizza. So let's go ahead and let's measure. We want to keep the, we, we need the bottom of the oven around 700 Fahrenheit to start to make the pizza. And uh, uh, we are right, we are right in point. And also you can measure with the little, uh, you can measure with the little laser here, the light, where it's more hot or more cold. This way you know where to place the pizza, more close this side or more close this side. And then when it's, uh, let's say here it's more hot of course, right there it's about 7, 770, 780 and right there is a little, a little lower around uh, 7, 720. If you are going to put the pizza there, you are able to move it a little lightly there and cook it all the way. So, but uh, what's the point right now? Let's measure also this one. Of course, open up here and let's measure the bottom. We are same 750, perfect. So, we are... Here we go, so uh, like you can see, the bottom of the oven needs to be around 700, 750. Minimum, minimum, the bottom needs to say 650, 600. So if you're cooking at home, you need to uh, light up the broil and then uh, keep it hot until it gets to 600. And uh, trust me, it will get to 600. If it's not 550, like it's, it's okay. But if you have a gas oven like those, you need to bring the bottom at least to, to 700. 650 and measure with the gun not this because this is says right now 915 that one shows uh, uh, 600 so uh, you know you, you don't really can uh, you cannot really uh, oops you cannot really uh, trust those things pay attention because this is the most important part 
we're gonna make the pizza right now. So what we do, we keep the oven at the max speed, max uh, flame. With the door, the lid, close it right there. Keep it right here. Or you can also take it out, but the oven needs to be at the max speed, uh, max flame. So let's go ahead, let's make the pizza and then I'll show you what we're gonna do when you're going to make the second or the third pizza. So let's, let's start to make the pizza. Magic happened. This is the pizza dough, like you can see. It's lovely, nice and uh, fantastic. Let's open up some ingredients here. Voila, take it out. Use the most difficult part here is when you take out the pizza from the box. So you're gonna make sure it stays a circle. Then dump it on top of the flour. Let that close right away this, otherwise the dough is gonna dry out. And guys, make sure you check out my YouTube channel for more tips here and there. So a couple of times in the flour, flour on the bottom. Now we're gonna go ahead and press the air to the crust. Then flip it over, the air to the crust. Press, fill the table, fill the table, voila. Now right hand, you press, you measure, left hand, you just pull it. So press and measure, press and measure. Then there, bang it a couple of times. Voila, one trick, one hand here. Boom, on top, lift it up, and then make a large like that if you need to make a large. Boom, voila. If you have this, this type of uh, big air pocket on the pizza dough, you need to uh, pop it because otherwise they're gonna go ahead, pop too much, and they're gonna burn. Voila, we are ready to make a classic cheese pizza. Cheese margherita, sorry, margherita. So, tomato sauce in the center, voila, all the way. There we go. Oh, guys, make sure if you want to become a pro pizza chef or you want to bring your uh, you want to bring your skill to the level up, uh, I have created the most unique masterclass online. It's a professional course made at the Netflix at the Netflix uh, level. So you will learn everything. Also, if you wanna go ahead and open a business, this is the right course for you. Just check it out, the link is below, and uh, let's get back making the pizza. Little bit of Parmesan cheese. At this point, you need to be fast because uh, the pizza will stick. Little bit of uh, fresh basil under the cheese. And then, let's go ahead and let's put some fresh mozzarella. Voila. And little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil everywhere. Done. So guys, ready to go ahead and put it in the oven. Now pinch it and then peel, pinch it, then peel under. If you see that it's a little sticky, go ahead and put a little bit of flour on the floor and dump again the pizza on top of the flour. Then a little bit of flour on top of the peel and then voila. Go ahead and put it on top of the pizza, on top of the peel. Voila. Now we make the pizza nice and large, about 12 inches pizza dough. Of course, 12 inches. Voila. So now let's go ahead, let's put it in the oven and show you how the pizza, what to do next. Uh, guys, so let's go ahead, let's place it right inside. Boom, one shot. Now, now, right away, right away, lower down at the max the oven. So at the minimum, actually, lower down the minimum speed, and then we can cook the pizza. That's a really important tip when you're cooking the pizza oven, like that. So you put the pizza inside and then boom, you put right away the speed at the lower. See, we are checking the bottom of the pizza. How is it? If we see that the pizza inside is uh, too much cooked, what we do, we put the peel under and we cook the pizza on the peel. Voila, so we keep it always in the same spot. If the pizza doesn't cook, we change the spot and we put it close to the flame right there on the right side. You need to check the bottom. Right now I'm cooking the pizza on top of the peel because I see that the bottom cook too much, too fast compared to the top. It's because that, that's the first pizza. Of course, when it's the first pizza, the pizza will cook too much. But I'm gonna show you right now, right away, what to do, how to make the second pizza. Voila, so the pizza, boom. The, pi the pizza, it's a lovely cook. Like you can see, it's perfect. I want to show you, but uh, hold on. First, right away, we need to go ahead and uh, put the oven again at the max 
uh, speed. So hopefully you understand. Uh, hopefully you understand. You need to, when the pizza is not, uh, when you're going to put the pizza inside of the oven, have to drop the, drop the flame. So pizza out, flame up. Pizza in, flame down. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we got that. So let me show you this pizza one second. So that's how the pizza looks like. You can see the pizza was cooked perfectly. Then let's check out the bottom. Let's check out the bottom. Like you can see, of course, was a little bit too hot. Was a little bit too lightly, a little bit lightly too hot, of course, because uh, the pizza, it was the first pizza and then uh, the first pizza always it's uh, it's hot but uh, of course guys of course guys you can keep uh, uh, you can you will know you will uh, know you will know better the pizza oven when uh, uh, like time to time so um, if you see that the oven goes in temperature the bottom gets in temperature too fast so that means that the oven in 30 minutes 45 minutes it's ready so always keep in mind the temperature on the bottom needs to be 700 650 so that's the most important thing so let's go ahead let me show you the second pizza you see that it's gonna come out better well guys to be honest we don't really need to use uh, the uni because uh, i mean if you want to see how that works check out my uh my, my, the comparison the uni versus i'm gonna link it also uh, somewhere here so check it out. I have uh, compared the both oven next to each other and see how they cook. Uh, to, to be honest, uh, I was, uh, to be honest, I just realized that we don't really need to cook the pizza in there because I want to show you, uh, this, is a, this is a generic, this is a generic video how the, uh, to manage the gas, gas oven. So let's go ahead, let me make right away the second pizza. And trust me guys, if you are making, uh, if you are making the, if you follow my instruction, you are gonna be able to use uh, uh, the oven every day, and then uh, you are able to use the oven properly and make uh, like more pizzas, 10, 20, 40 pizzas in the, every time without the, the bottom gets cold. Voila, let's go in the oven. Boom, one shot, look at this. Boom, lower down at the minimum, the speed, uh, the minimum flame, like that. And then let's cook the pizza. Now we're gonna okay, guys, the pizza is out. And then I want to show you that the pizza, they look the same from the top. But, of course, the bottom is a little bit different because this one was, uh, this one was the first pizza and this is the second pizza. So let me get you the camera. I want to show you inside. I mean, you might, you might say that this pizza, they look perfect to me. Yes, they look perfect. But... Uh, in my channel, I want you to make the perfect and best pizza you ever made in your life. So, you can see here, I want to explain to you this and this. Look at this. So, this pizza is nice and you can see the color is all uniform now. And this one, of course, it got a little bit burned here and there. Well, it's not burned, but still, it's too. it was too hot because this was the first pizza. So, always I suggest to you to put... Uh, one pizza first and then you start to make the pizzas because the first pizza of course is gonna get this little chunk of uh, uh, black dots here here and there but this one is the perfect crust from the bottom perfect cook on the bottom and then if you trust me if you keep going you can make 40 to 50 pizzas one next to the other one if you use this uh, this tip remember flame uh, when the pizza goes in flame down when the pizza goes out flame up all the way and then fire up the oven one hour before and you'll be good now how to shut off the oven <laughs> we just basically go ahead and done finish we finish to make the pizza this is the this is the best part when i make the pizza it's tasting the what you create so thank you so much guys for watching mm. I'll see you next week, every week, new video from my next video, Valley. Ciao. Oh, guys, share. Share, it's free.